Hi friends, it's Aubrey. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you four of our family favorite crock pot meals. Let's get cooking. We are going to make some Swedish meatballs in the crock pot today. It's a pretty easy recipe with some simple ingredients that I just had in my fridge freezer and pantry and let's get going. We're first gonna do a cup and a fourth of beef broth. I'm just using this beef broth powder, trying to use it up. We have just a little bit left in there. Now we're gonna do a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, And then we need a half cup of half and half, so I'm just gonna be taking some heavy whipping cream and doing half heavy whipping cream and half milk, stirring that together, and then I'll dump it in. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons of cornstarch. The recipe that I'm using doesn't call for any garlic, but I like garlic, so we're just gonna add about a clove or two into the pot. Now we're just gonna salt and pepper to taste. I always go kind of light on the salt and pepper and then just add more at the end because you can always add more but you can't make it less salty without doubling the recipe. Now that everything is in here we're just gonna give it a stir to kind of break down the cornstarch and then we will add our meatballs. Now we're gonna put in 14 ounces which is about 28 meatballs. And I'm just going to kind of stir it around just a little bit to make sure that all the meatballs have some of that liquid on them. Now we're going to cook this on low for about four hours and then we will add in the rest of the ingredients. Yes. Yeah, are you helping? Are you helping? Yeah. Hi. Now that this has cooked for four hours, we're going to add in a half cup of sour cream. And then we're also going to add in one teaspoon of dried parsley. You can also use fresh parsley, but I didn't have any on hand, so we used the dried kind. And then we made sure to stir everything around really well. Once it was well combined, we added in our noodles, just right into the crock pot and stirred that around to make sure that the creamy liquid was all over all of the noodles. This was really good and it made excellent leftovers too. So I definitely recommend that you try this one out with your family. You big time fan. So good, huh? I had this ground chicken in my freezer and wanted to use it up. So for the crock pot meal for tonight's dinner, we are making lettuce wraps. Let's get cooking. I'm making a half recipe, so all of these ingredients will be the half version of them. So we're going to add in one pound of ground chicken, one and a half garlic cloves. I'm just gonna eyeball it, it's probably good. And we're also gonna add in about a fourth cup of onion, finely chopped or roughly chopped, depending on how big of onion chunks you like. We're gonna turn my Instant Pot on the saute function. You can also do this in the microwave, that's what the recipe said, but I figured since I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot slow cooker function that I would just cook these ingredients together before adding the rest of the ingredients. Also, if you're looking for a nice meat chopper, this is awesome, it makes cooking any ground meat super simple and it breaks up the chunks really well. Now that the chicken is almost all the way cooked, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off of the saute function and start adding in the other ingredients. We're gonna do a fourth cup of hoisin sauce. A tablespoon of soy sauce. three-fourths teaspoon of sesame oil. We're just gonna kinda eyeball it so we don't have to get two measuring spoons dirty. A half a tablespoon of rice vinegar. 
And we're just gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. We can always add more later. So let's stir this around. We're gonna add in a half of a bell pepper. Make sure we get all those little pieces in there. We'll mix that around one more time and then we're gonna cook it on low for about three hours just to make sure that all the flavors are well combined and then we will add a few extra ingredients when we are ready to serve. If you are going to use an instant pot to cook this on the slow cooker setting, make sure you have it turned to venting so that way it cooks properly. And we'll go ahead and hit the slow cook button, set it for three hours. This is on high so we're actually going to adjust that to normal which is like the typical low setting on your slow cooker. Everything is fully cooked and there was still some excess liquid, so I turned my saute function on and let that boil off. Last things to add in are some cooked rice and some water chestnuts diced up. Typically you serve this with iceberg lettuce. We had green leaf lettuce on hand so we decided to use that and it worked out just fine. Maybe a little bit more floppy but we added some extra hoisin sauce and this was super tasty. This will be going into our meal rotation from now on. We are making some sweet pulled pork. If you've ever been to Costa Vida or Cafe Rio before, this is a copycat recipe. It is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna get the pork going overnight. We're just gonna fill up crock pot. About halfway up the pork with some water. Let's do about four cups. And then we are going to let it cook on low for eight hours and we will check it in the morning. I love how few ingredients this recipe is. You'll need 16 ounces of your favorite red salsa and then one and a half cups of cola. It can be Coke, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, any of those should work just fine. I know it may seem really weird, but just trust me, this is some of the best sweet pork you will ever have. Next, we're going to add in two cups of brown sugar and we're gonna give everything a good stir. Cooked this for an additional four to six hours on low just so that all the flavors could meld together and then served it with the salad. This was so amazing. This is one of my absolute favorite dinners. You gotta try this one out. For this next one, we're making a cheesy sausage and potato casserole, but in slow cooker. So you'll need 32 ounces of potatoes, 16 ounces of your favorite sausage. Then you'll want to add in two cups of cheddar cheese. You can also use Monterey Jack cheese if you prefer that. Once you have that combined, we are going to start working on the sauce. You'll need one cup of milk and then one can of cream of chicken soup. We'll do some pepper to taste. I did probably about a half teaspoon. And you'll do a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. 
make sure to stir this really well and then pour it on top of your potato cheese and meat mixture almost forgot to add in the teaspoon of dried chives so don't forget that Don't forget to stir this well to make sure that all of the potatoes especially are covered in some of the sauce. And then you'll cook this for about seven to eight hours on low. Turned out so gooey and super delicious. We ended up topping it with some green onions and had some biscuits with it. And it also makes really good leftovers. So I definitely recommend that you give this one a try. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy and that you found some new recipes that you and your family can try out. If there are any crock pot recipes that you love and they're your go-tos, leave those in the comments down below for me. I'd love to try them out. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would love to have you here and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.